सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल सो टुडे वी कैन डिस्कस द इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस फॉर इकोनोमेट्रिक्स वायो एंड दे आर द मोस्ट एक्सपेक्टेड और बेसिकली दे आर द मोस्ट कॉन्सेप्टुअल क्वेश्चंस कीपिंग असाइड ऑल प्रूफ्स एंड फार्मूलास सो लेट्स बिगिन सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वुड बी डिटेल आउट द मेथडोलॉजी ऑफ इकोनोमेट्रिक्स एंड द आंसर वुड बी क्रिएटिंग अ स्टेटमेंट ऑफ थ्योरी कलेक्टिंग डेटा specifying the model uh, in mathematical terms not specifying the model in econometric terms estimating the parameters checking for model uh, specification hypothesis testing and forecasting now does regression imply causation the answer is necessarily not a statistical relationship uh, however strong and however statistic can never establish causal connection it should ultimately be a result from the economic theory or economics literature now this is the most important one i think that would be list out the tragical linear regression model assumptions which would be regression model should be linear in parameters but may or may not be linear in variables the correlation for the error given xi should be zero expectation of error given xi should be zero variance of ui should be equals to sigma square which is the assumption for homogeneous elasticity and the assumption of no auto correlation basically implies that covariance of two error variances where covariance of new i comma uj should be equals to zero for all i not equal to j the last clr assumption is uh, the regression model is correctly specified now next would be briefly state the gauss markov theorem this ultimately explains that the oles estimators are blue best linear unbiased estimators you can see the answer here Now moving forward, next question would be which test is applied for testing for normality of residuals? In the name of the test is Jarque-Bira test. With a null hypothesis would be new i follows normal distribution, and alternate hypothesis would be new i does not follow normal distribution. The test statistics, which is known as JB test statistics, uh, the formula is here, which says n upon six whole into s square plus k minus three whole square upon four, where s represents skewness and k represents cut losses. Now this test statistics follows chi-square distribution with two degree of freedom. Moving forward, when do we use adjusted r-square measure? We use adjusted r-square when we want to compare two dependent variables, two regression models with same dependent variables, but different number of explanatory variables. The formula for adjusted r-square, which is r bar square, is as follows. now from functional forms we have uh, why do we consider different functional forms in integration analysis different functional forms allow for a capturing non linear relationships between variables and ensuring better and more specification based on theory or data patterns now how do we interpret coefficient in log log model basically in log log model the coefficients represent elasticities for example the percentage change in y due to 1% change in x now moving ahead What is the dummy variable trap? It refers to perfect multicollinearity caused by including all categories of a quality variable. One category must be omitted as the reference group. The next two questions you can see on the screen. Now for respective CLR CLRM evaluations, which are multicollinearity, heteroscedasticity, autocorrelation, and specification error, I had created a table for the consequences and the detection test. You can have a close look at them. the various tests are listed out here and thank you guys if you love the video do subscribe to the channel also for the pdf of this video you can find the link in the description of this video thank you